Now, organs are a regular sight and sound in churches and cathedrals across the region. But can you imagine those sounds that coming from a barn in Callington? Well, that's where our reporter Sam Blackledge has found one and he's been to find out exactly how it got there. Well, you can hear today's story before you can see it. If you just follow me here inside this rather nondescript looking barn, there is something rather impressive inside. This is a 16 foot tall, 100 year old church organ. It's currently being played by the lovely Ken over here. But sadly, this might be the last we ever hear from this organ unless they can find a new owner from it. Well, to talk more about this, we're joined now by Hilary from Beach Auctions. Hilary. Hi, thanks for joining us. Just give us an idea of the history of this organ and just how it ended up here in Callington. Okay, so it was commissioned in 1910 for the um, Kelstock uh, Methodist Chapel. And then in 1990, that was converted into a community arts centre and Charles Hardin dismantled the organ, brought it here and rebuilt it and raised the roof in order to do so. Um, and as I said, it could be the end of this organ's life, but you're hoping not. What are you hoping will happen to it next? We're really hoping that we can find a home where it will be preserved and used and kept in this remarkable, playable condition. And what sort of home would that be? Someone's going to need a lot of space for this, aren't they? They are going to need a lot of space, but we are going to keep our fingers crossed that we can find somewhere, whether that be another church, a museum, whether it's in this country or whether it's abroad. OK, Hilary, thanks for joining us. And we can also speak this evening to Janet, who is Charles' wife. Janet, thank you very much for joining us. What do you think it would mean to Charles to see the life of this organ continue? Well, I think he would be over the moon because he saved it 30 years ago and it's, he put so much love and care into it, assembling it or disassembling it and then putting it together. And he had a few organ recitals at the very beginning with the church. So he used to have a lot of people out here and he really he loved playing it really loud and I could always tell when he was playing because I could hear the droning in the house so I knew where he was. So I think he would really be so pleased that we're trying to do the best for it. Okay, Janet and Hilary, thank you very much. Well, if this evening's programme has piqued your interest and you'd like to give a new home to this impressive organ, you'll have to get in quickly. The deadline is the end of May. Sam Blackledge, ITV News in Callington.